I assume you didn't see Simo's progression series, but Fairy Box was one of the best card. Fa Fairy Box was the best card in his series. So I've never really seen Simo's progression series videos chat. I mean, tells us so like, explain that more. Fa Fairy Box came out in. God, I don't know. I want to say Pharaoh Servant, but I don't. I don't think that's right. I think I'm, I'm mixing that up with Solemn Wishes. Uh, did you purposely say 2019 duels in your title? I don't make the title, uh, Man Manny. What's it called? Super Canadian does. He just trolls. Don't don't believe anything you ever see in a title of one of my videos, or excuse me, in the stream. Like just take it with a grain of salt. He just talks about the set for two minutes, then duels. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm sorry, I can't focus with this. I thought, chat, I thought Simo's. So I've never really seen Simo's progression videos. I just kind of assumed that I knew what they were. I thought the progression series was just largely him telling Yu-Gi-Oh history through that set and how the game is. Why would there be any duels in the video? Don't believe Dual the videos. request new format. Thank you very much, Atenza. Am I am I completely off? Like, if he if he does a video on on Metal Raiders, like I would just think that he would talk about Metal Raiders, how each like the cards that were relevant and how they affected. Why why would there be any need for duels? Like, what are you guys talking about? They open packs and duel with what? Why? What does that have to do with progress? What? What does that have to do with the progression of Yu-Gi-Oh at all? What? Attends is gonna hardcore loop cap. I don't even care about that. I care about the the integrity of them damn videos. I assume him and Gage open 24 pack of a Are you serious, chat? I'm gonna be completely honest. I I don't even know what to say. So hold on. Does he even talk about the sets? Like what the fuck? As a look, as someone as someone who like serious who who takes the history of this game super seriously, I thought I thought the entire videos were like educating you Zoomers on what the game was like when Feral Servant came out. If you're telling me he just like, yo, let's play Genzo Beatdown or if I, holy shit! I thought this was like tier zero content. I've been speaking about Simo so positively because I again I thought I, I've said this on on the channel chat. I'm like, Simo has a tier zero series. If all he's doing is opening fucking packs and then playing, like, that's not tier zero content. That's like fucking, I'm not gonna say market watch, that's like fucking tier F content. It's like B, it's like B tier content. They talk about it and they open up pack. I'm just, why, why is the pack opening, like, why is that relevant to the history of, of the game at all? I, I don't. The, the, the point that I'm making is I don't understand how those two things correlate in the slightest. Like, that's a, to me, that's a completely different thing. If we're talking about the progression of the game, that's for me, the content creator, to educate Zoomers on how the game was. Like, us just randomly building decks with packs. Like, that, that, that what the fuck does that got to do with anything? Like, I, I don't understand that. It's the progression of their decks? That makes even less sense. Two dudes uh, I flipped. I'm not, I'm gonna. Hold, I, I need to watch one of those videos now. Chat, that's the reason why I thought the videos were so long. I'm like, yeah. The vi if you really go, GG. If you really go into the history of a pack, like I can understand how each video could be like 20 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm, dude. I'm like tilted. I really, I really thought I was like, man, Simo's, Simo's on the history thing, and I thought Simo was a good person to do that because Simo's been playing the game since like Blue Eyes. Oh my god, you guys, you guys figured out a way to trigger me, and it's not even, it's not even related to like an argument. Oh my god, we're ruining history, chat. You guys actually figured out a way to trigger me. Simo, stay, stay, stay. No, I'm just, a, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what's the big deal? I, I, I really just thought that this series was something completely different than what it was. I, I, I really thought that Simo was just covering history, and I think he's a good person to do it because. He's been playing the game since the beginning. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think you're a good person to tell the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you started playing the game with fucking, you know, Lord of the Tekion Galaxy, like what the fuck do you know about anything that came before that set? But if you've been playing the game since the beginning, like yeah, and you you stayed with it, like you can tell the story. But 
Are you, maybe you guys are just trolling me. I, I, hold on, I just need to watch one of his videos. I feel like you guys could just be trolling me. I just assumed the same. I mean, that's what you would think. It's called the Progression Series. Granted, now that I'm looking at it, 46 minutes on a video about... Uh, is that Sanctuary? Yeah. This, this set is so... Un I, I'm not going to click this one. To be honest, this set is so uninteresting. Like, if you know your Yu-Gi-Oh! History Chat, to come from Invasion of Chaos, which is like a top five, probably top three set all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! History, to Ancient Saint... This, this set is, like, so fucking uninteresting. <laughs> it's like enemy controller and that's it. Like, <laughs> this set is so bad. <laughs> in, the, in the history of, like, D, and this set is so fucking bad. Compared can, coming... I mean, nothing could really live up to ILC. Or it's it's hard to follow ILC, but um Oh, this is ILC. Okay, we'll click this one. This this is a much more interesting set. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. Now the biggest complaint that Gage and I receive about the series is that we're not uploading it fast enough. And there's a reason for that. There's a lot of time that goes into making each episode and it's a very big time commitment. But you guys are so devoted to the series oh, that we want to change that. So Nim Nim and I have started a Patreon specifically for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression series. With Wow. So, make a new. <laughs> God, Simo's actually the smartest fucking person on the planet. Make a new series, series pops off, and then charge people to make new episodes. Like, that's actually fucking five head. I mean, I, I told you guys earlier, it, it takes a lot to impress me. This might be one of the smartest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Like when you're when your series pops off, you literally make people pay for the series. Like, don't don't e don't ever say chat. Don't ever in you guys' life ever say that I scam you guys. Until I until you guys have seen me done anything remote like remotely close to. Don't ever call me a scammer, chat. Like, wow. I don't even. I I'm actually fucking speechless. Y'all didn't tell me about this. With your continued support, like, we would be able to push other- Simo already has a Patreon, by the way, if you guys don't know. Like, already has a full-time Patreon, but then made a second Patreon just for one series, like- Projects to the side and make time to actually be able to pump out two episodes Charge people week. for good and videos there's tons and of perks for replaced. you guys as well, from having your name in the credits, to having your name shouted out, to even getting exclusive early access to each episode one day early. So we- Pop champ! You can get a video, you can get the video one day early! Holy yo! That's like the, you get the video one full day early. Now I remember when EA did that with, with like games like Madden and they got tons of shit for that chat. Tons of shit for that. You guys remember when like EA did that? Like yo, you get, you get the new Madden game like 24 hours early and people were like, fuck you EA. That's fucking terrible and unethical to charge us $10 to, to get a game 48 hours early, but apparently with, uh, with Yugi tubing, it's fine. We need your help. Click the link down below to check out the 45 perks on the Patreon, Patreon and if we- How much is that? 45 times 5? Like, how much free- how much free real estate is this? 45 times 5. $225 just to do your job, like- it's not bad. Get enough support. We will I mean, I guess we got the progression in series half. twice a week. But if merch is more your style, we have the Fairy Box T-shirt available for purchase right now. Again, you can click the link down below in the description to pick yours up today. Thank you, guys. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, I I think it's just because I'm a simp for fairy. Like, I just I, I just like Fairy Box as a card. But what's it called? <laughs> Invasion of Wait, where the fuck did that come from? Did Simo did Simo get that made just for the video or what? I've never seen that on his channel. Where'd this come from? Hey, that's kind of cool. Chat, does he do does he does he have one of those for every video? Like if he does, I mean I'm I'm not saying that that makes the video fucking worth paying for, but that's definitely that's definitely cool. Make merch. Uh we, we gotta get good for it. My Invasion of Chaos right was now. released in March 2004. Most old school play- Okay, this right here, chat. 
Whatever this is, this is what the entire video should be. Because at the way that Simo just started this video is probably exactly how I would start it. I would probably, I don't know exactly my words because I'd have to write this out. But this right here, this is what basically the entire fucking video should be. Talking about Invasion of Chaos, talking about when it came out, talking about some of the highlight cards, talking about how it impacted the meta. If you really, really want to dive deep, you even talk about some of the prices of the cards. This is what the video should be. Educate me, Simo. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking 15-year-old. I don't know anything about Evasion. I wasn't even born then. Like, tell me what this set did. Tell me why boomers like Cap always talk about this set. Players know this as the set that forever changed Yu-Gi-Oh. That's true, by the way. Now I give up a thousand life points to activate my Chaos Dragon. I like, I like this. Wow, by, by, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a quick spoiler. Uh, so what Simo just did, and I'm not copying him, I promise. This is the first time I've seen this. What he, what he just did with this um this clip of Kaiba, I just started working these into my videos. But I don't have the audio, though, because um I'm a little, like, I'm not trying to get, like, copyrighted by Konami. Well, it's not Konami. It, it'll be, like, NAS. They even have, like, an automated system. Like, this is, it's a little dangerous. I'll just say that. Like, what's it called? I started kind of, I think this is why Simo has it set up like this. No, not Brunhild, not the, oh my god, not the waifu, bro, not, not the waifu Valkyrie, come on, she's the prettiest one, actually the blonde one with the short hair is the prettiest, she's the second prettiest one, simp, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a simp forever for that shit, she's too, she's too pretty, damn chat, she got roasted, <laughs> Uh, I like how Chaos Emperor Dragon dies too. I mean, that's how the effect. I just, I just like how he dies too. He just, he, he just kills everything. Like he, I mean, that's part of the effect. Start a Patreon. Chaos so getting copies. <laughs> strike the the use of the already powerful light and dark monsters and support. Okay, hold on. So when does the video start? Here's what I'm asking. When does the video start sucking? I, I know I know this will probably never get the same up. Wait, hold on. How can this video start so good and then just become bad? This is what the video should be. How does this turn into spin the wheel and fucking ban lit ban lit ban list roulette and all this other gimmicky dumb shit? The style of play around banishing cards. It's not even five minutes, like two. Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Magician of Chaos, Dimension Fusion, Smashing Ground, and two of the most legendary Yu-Gi-Oh cards yeah, ever the, created: the Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, and Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set we will build whoa i'm oh my i'm actually so fucking mad chat i'm i'm, I'm oh my goodness i'm actually so mad what the fuck does this have to do with anything i i'm and i'm even more mad i'm even more mad that the Yu-Gi-Oh community is just eating this shit up oh my god it's breathtaking it's so what the fuck does this have to do with anything? I I actually I can't believe this actually makes me think the Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Gi community is so fucking dumb. Like, I I really thought that I mean I kind of understand this right, but to, to and to me, chat I also don't like when videos are set up in this kind of stream, this stream kind of setup. You guys know what I mean, right? Like Yu-Gi tubers who. Their videos look exactly like their live streams. Like, I just don't understand Load it. Load up your banner zone and then bring back all of them. Provided five minutes of good content. It wasn't even five, it was two. This video, when when I start watching it, I'm like, bro, I am I am so checked in. You, you bring me in with Chaos Emperor Dragon. You got the anime clip. You start talking about the impactful cards. Like, you, you're, you're killing it, Simo. And then you start doing, like, what the fuck is this? And then you start like... I'm a, I'm actually maulding. This this whole dueling on dueling book and then opening packs like this. I oh my god. I I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about this more because it's just, it's gonna just end up starting drama. It's it's yeah. This this is just actually gonna start drama. You just realize I've never I've not Dra Draco sat Draco sat. 
to, to be very clear, <laughs> I've never seen one of seen I've never seen one of Simo's progression videos. But the first two minutes of that video is what I thought they were. I think I've even told you guys, I don't know why my control shift T is not working. There it is. I, I think I told you guys before on stream, I was like, okay, I was like, one. I was like, well, Simo's I... killing it with the history. Because I thought that this was what the video is. I did think it was a little strange that, and I, I guess I just didn't notice that I was like, man, doing a history video on a Yu-Gi-Oh set that's 50 minutes, that's, that's kind of long. Like, if I did a video on IOC chat, it'd probably like be a 13, 14 minute video tops. I'm like doing a 46 minute video. That's, that's kind of long. I don't, I don't know how you're going to justify that length, but I largely thought that this was it. I look at this video and I'm just like, what does half of this shit have to do with anything? Why is this a fucking pack opening video? Why are you guys dueling on dueling book? Like the whole point of this video, again, Simo's video, so it can be whatever the fuck he wants. But I just assumed the whole point of progression was just to educate players on the set, not to fucking open packs and duel on, have fucking scuff duels on dueling book. I mean, what, what me and Riley guys just did was a scuff dueling book duel. Drama time? No, I'm just. I didn't know about this either. Thank God. Big Pimp, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if you're like as shocked as I am, but I'm. I'm actually shocked. Chat. This is not like faking or anything. I'm. My mind's fucking blown. And and I. I hold. I held Simo. I hold. I held this series in such high regard because I. I thought the concept was like brilliant. I was like, dude, Simo's gonna cover the entire game. He's played the entire game. I was like, this is great. I'm not even gonna simp. Uh, I'm not even gonna step on his toes. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I just, they're pulling a Sam and simply on, yeah, that, that's, that's what I think, chat. Simo's taking something that should be so great and phenomenal. And don't you, do you guys, agree? you can disagree. I don't care, chat. You can always disagree with any of my takes. I feel like he's, he's just like ruining it for, for fucking what? Like for, I, I guess you guys could say for casuals. But the thing casuals would like, even if he just did a history video, I think casuals would like it. And then when you talk about a Patreon and shit, just like, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to half this shit, chat. Having a fucking Patreon for what? For a fucking, oh my God. I'm actually tilted. Gage is here. I mean, if, if Gage is here, Gage, I still love you, bro, but <laughs> those, are, those, are my legit, those are my legitimate opinions. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to knock Simo for doing his hustle. I just don't understand why. Is Gage actually here or not? I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to change what I'm saying because because of Gage. You know, I love Gage. Please talk to me. It's a unique idea. Fine if you don't enjoy it. But the point of the series is not to educate. That That's perfectly fine, Gage. I'm, I'm not saying that it's bad, right? What I'm saying is it is so drastically different than what I thought. I, I really thought, I really thought, Gage... I thought it, I thought the entire point was just to educate, and everything I just said is that's that's how I feel. I mean, now Simo can do it. Like, who am I to tell anyone what they can do and what they can't do? Simo's obviously bigger and more popular than I am, so he doesn't have to give a fuck about anything that I say, and he can criticize my content. But I'm I'm honestly shocked, Chad. I thought I thought it was something completely different. I also didn't know that you had anything to do with it because I mean I never saw your name or anything like that in the video. How much money? Does, I mean, that's not relevant. Kids don't want to learn these. If kids don't, or if if kids don't want to learn history, chat, then I'm trying to think a perfect. I'm trying to think a comparison for me. Then, then you know what I am, chat. If if you're if you're telling me, cap, people don't want to learn about history. Then you guys ever seen like that old librarian on on those movies or those shows like like uh. Like Stranger Things, the old white lady librarian who's telling kids to... Re I guess that's just me, chat. I mean, again, Nim Nim, I'm not disparaging you or Simo. It's just... I, I honestly just don't get it. Like, Nim Nim, do you... Here, I'll just, I'll just ask you candidly. Do you think that people would be interested in history videos that, that talked about the same thing that you guys are covering? Like, if the answer is no, then I guess, I guess we just disagree. Because I think Simo would be the perfect person to deliver that. It's a matter of taste. Oh no, no, no! I, I, I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't tell you guys not to educate, bro. 
I can't tell you guys what you guys should like, and I can't tell the Yu-Gi-Oh community what they should like. I just feel like I think Simo had this great idea, and I feel like he dumbed it down for casuals, and I I just don't understand why. You know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to start drama or anything. He takes pride in it. Yes, I do. I yes, I do, Chad. I'm sorry. Like, is, is that a crime chat? Is it a crime to take pride in the history of this game and telling its stories? Like, I don't I don't understand what to, why that's a bad thing. Don't don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, I think the I think I should have just kept judging it by its to be on to be honest. I'm more upset chat that you guys showed me the truth. I think I think I I think I would have been happier just being ignorant to be honest. And like not knowing it. You guys remember that scene in the Matrix where the bald guy is like, ignorance is bliss? I think I just would have been there are some things that you learn and you're just like, I think I just would have been happier like not knowing it, to be honest. I'm not really trying to stay ignorant. Yeah, I think I think I would have. Casuals are the majority of his subscriber base. Give Captain. That's not the I, I get that. But you guys don't understand Simo. I'm not saying that people will watch whatever Simo makes, but Simo is smart enough, creative enough, good enough, and knows enough where he could have made a history video chat and his audience would have watched it and I think they would have loved it. That's the whole point. That's the whole point that I'm making. And Gage, look, if I offended you, Gage, I apologize. And I would say that to Simo too. But those were those were my legit feelings about the video like I, I stand by everything that I said but I don't want there to be like hard feelings between me and Gage because Gage is associated to this I guess I mean apologizing to Simo is kind of irrelevant Simo already hates me so like is it can chat can Simo hate me more I feel like I feel like no like Simo hating me is like power creep in Yu-Gi-Oh like yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> Okay, but then what's like what's the like what's the difference? It's like it, it, what, what's the difference? Like his hate from me. If, if Simo, what was hate? What was Simo's hate from me before this chat? I mean, what are, are we putting it at a nine? Like, so do, are you guys saying it's a ten now? I feel I feel like it's already it was already a nine. So like, how much how much higher can it go? It's like my channel. My channel's so shitty. Like it can't really go lower. Like I feel like what's it called? Why does Simo hate you? That's a fucking long story. That's a fucking Simo about to defend this property. <laughs> no joke. Oh goodness. Simo wants to catch the fade now. Simo already wants to throw you in the oven. Okay, that that's too much. Go ask Simo. You're a man. Chat. I don't. I don't really know how to. You. You guys. You guys all assume like we YouTubers like all have each other's phone numbers. Maybe, maybe like John Moore and S that's probably, to be honest, he's probably it. Maybe, maybe John like has almost every Yugi tuber's phone number, but I, I don't chat. I have no Yugi tuber's phone. The only Yugi tuber that I've talked to like on the phone was Twiz was, yeah, that's the, that's the only person that I know how to like instantly get in contact with without having to like hunt them down on Facebook or something like that, chat. Like I, I do not have an easy way. I can't just call Simo and be like, yo, Simo. Like, I, I don't have Simo's phone number or anything like that. You have Selza doesn't fucking count. Selza is not a Selza, you don't fucking count. Yes, technically I have I could call Selza right now. Selza doesn't fucking count. Going to stream Selza doesn't I mean uh Simo doesn't stream that I know of. Are you saying you can't get Simo on the phone in five minutes? I get Billy Break on the phone in five minutes, but not Simo. Uh, you can call me, call him and say, <laughs> yeah, all right. There you go, chat. Press one to call Simo and say it to his face. That's, I mean, he only lives in Las Vegas and I live in Charlotte. That's, that's perfectly feasible. Cap, get on a plane, fly to Vegas, say it to Simo's face, or pussy. There you go. There you go, chat. There you go. I mean, I, I what's it called? Skype with him? I wouldn't be opposed to that. I don't really chat. It's not that I'm afraid or anything. I don't really know what that would do other than other than cause an argument. Like if I mean, yeah. All right, I'll say this. If you guys can think of something positive that would come. From, hold on, Gage, are you still here? Because I feel I feel like Gage ain't gonna come back to the stream anymore, chat. 
at nimnim. G A G E. Gage, are you still here? I don't think he'd pick up the call. I I think he'd pick up the. I think he'd pick up the. See, that would be too much. There's there's no Yugi tuber that I dislike so much that I wouldn't even talk to them on the phone. But if they say something like, I fucking hate you, cat. If they lead the phone call with that, then I'd probably hang up on them. Because, like, damn, you're, you're just going to start the, you're going to just start the conversation with hostility. What I was going to say is, if you guys can think of anything positive that would come from it, then I would, I would try to contact Simo. I can't really think of anything positive. Because how exactly do I lead this call? Hey, Simo, I finally watched your progression series. It wasn't what I thought it was, and I didn't like it very much. Like, I don't, I don't really know, like... Yeah, I, I don't even really know how to lead the conversation to where it won't be toxic, to be honest with that. What if they call you the C word? I mean, that would reflect poorly on them because... Yeah, I, I think I think when you do that, it reflects more on you than it does on me. Entertainment will come out of it. Content? That's not my content anymore, chat. I, I told you, like, even even when Cells has suggested a, a why this format is terrible because of him, I'm not really a discussion channel anymore. Um, I, I don't post replays. I'm trying to I'm trying to completely get out of the sensational the sensationalization. Is that a real word, chat? I'm trying to get out of the sen I'm already I mean, I've been out of the drama game for years. But anything that's just like sensationalized content, I just don't really want to post that anymore. You know what I mean? Because if I continue to do that, like what's the difference between what I was doing then and what I'm doing now? It's, it's all the same. Hey, Simo, why do you still hate me in 2020? I think I can answer. Cap, I don't really hate you. I just don't like you that much. I feel like that's the answer. And I don't even know where to go. Your series sucks and I'm taking your videos now. Here's a side question, chat. Are those videos off limits now? Because Gage, spe Gage specifically said that the intent of the videos was never to educate. That's what my channel is. That that's what my channel is supposed to do. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm going to make those because I have way too many v videos that I would do. But the the purpose of my videos would be 100% to educate. I don't give a. F I mean, I'm not going to say I don't give a fuck if you're entertained or not. But that's not that's not really. That's not my prerogative. My prerogative is to enter. It's like a teacher, chat. A teacher doesn't care if you fucking like mathematics. My my job is to teach her. <laughs> I don't want to. Should I, I? I'll just say it. My job is to teach your little ass. My job isn't to fucking entertain you. I just want to teach you as to why card troop, like why troop dupe was played in every deck in 2007. I want to teach you that. You don't have to like the story. I just want to teach you that. Um no take them now again i have too much stuff but i kind of feel like if the videos were exactly what i thought they were chat i would consider them off limits because i don't do that i don't just copy people's videos but they just they weren't and them them also said like that wasn't even the intention of the videos which also kind of surprises me ask if you can take care of the history portion of the videos and uh get some of that patreon i think that <laughs> us <laughs> i know you're memeing but a collaboration would be the worst thing oh my goodness chat um what are your thoughts on these one <sighs> we need to change the topic chat I, I i knew i knew is is there a way chat is there a way ever to get through a stream without me getting triggered press one if no press two if yes i feel like the answer is no this should have been the one stream where like nothing triggered me and somehow we still got triggered. <laughs> Put it on the list. Uh this was funny so it doesn't count. Yeah, but now now but now yeah, but now now me and them now me and Gage aren't friends anymore. Thanks a lot, chat. You guys not only ruined my relationship with Simo, but you ruined my relationship with Gage as well. Congratulations, chat. You guys you guys have ruined all my relationships. John is next. I, I I don't know how, but it's it's gonna come. If John even semi likes me, you guys will ruin that too. Gage cancel. Time for a. <laughs> oh goodness, we're your family now, Cap G. <laughs> that that that's the answer. You have us, Cap. You don't need friends. You have us. I, I saw a post on Wall Street debts of a guy who lost a ton of money, 
and he was talking about how when you lose money in the stock market, how do you tell your wife or your family? And uh, the top comment was, we're your family now. Wall Street Bets is your family. I, I, I like that. I like that. That's, that's, that's the correct answer, by the way, chat. The correct answer is, you have us, Cap G. We're your family now. You don't need other YouTube. We're your family now. That's the correct answer.